I got this UN Spacey VF1JUN variable fighter from the TV series Matt Cross, off Amazon. Matt Cross, do you remember Love has remained my favorite Japanese anime, but over the decades, Matt Cross memorabilia have become increasingly difficult to buy at modest prices. This one is about 90 US dollars and appears to be sold out. The package includes accessories and requires you to affix some sticker labels yourself. I will also be painting the missiles towards the end of assembly, for added detail. I really like this series by Toynami, because it strikes a good balance between poseability, transformability, and display customization. The UN Spacey label on the variable fighter is upside down on the rifle, but, in fighter mode it will display the correct way up mounted at the bottom of the airplane. The arms articulate well, so do the legs. Posing looks especially great on the supplied display mount, instead of standing awkwardly on a flat surface, as you will soon see. Much of the engineering design from larger sized cast iron models are retained, albeit in a more fragile plastic frame. This isn't a toy for kids to play with, so keep it on a really high shelf. Transforming to jerk warp mode takes some fiddling but the results are visually satisfying. You have to be patient to find the clicks that catch the parts into place. Mounting the pilot seat cockpit accessory is secure and tight. I love seeing this tiny version of Hikaru, or Rick Hunter for English speaking fans, in the cockpit. Make sure you keep the accessory securely, not only to continue to transform the VF1J to the other modes but also just in case you want to resell this. 10 to 20 years from now. Each mode has its own mount. I will be assembling the Jerwalk display mount connector for Hikaru's Valkyrie. On the display mount, the legs can be posed just like in the anime, considering propulsion or the weightlessness of space. Onto the decals stickers. The UN Spacey logo just brings me back to the 80s. I don't know about you, but I think it's a lot more fun to put them on yourself. Look out for the numbers though, each represents a different pilot. Hikaru is 101. Maximilian is 202 and Roy Foker is 001. Not all the decals are necessary in my opinion, but the VF logo looks good on Rick Hunter's Valkyrie. These details make a difference, enjoy the experience of putting them on. Missiles don't have enough detail in my opinion, and if you look at the artwork online, they are tipped red for Rick Hunter's Valkyrie. Acrylic washes off easily in case you make a mistake. Absolutely gorgeous. I will enjoy staring at this whenever I need to take a break from work. Well done Toy Army.